Hey guys, I'm Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Game Boy Advance. Overclocking allows you to play your games faster to really blow through those grindy RPGs of your childhood. And in my opinion, it really helps with the replayability of your favorite older games. It all lies in this little chip made by Division 6. Installing this is pretty easy, and I'm going to run you through it today. Alright guys, so I have a bare motherboard right here, and today we are going to be building it inside of this clear orange shell, and I have a funny playing IPS screen right here as well. So when you get your overclocking chip from Division 6, it's going to come with a bunch of wires just like this. And this is what we'll be using to solder the accelerator to the motherboard. So the way that this chip works is basically we solder the chip into three different button points. And then when you press all three button points at the same time, it activates and you can switch through the different speeds. And the different speeds include normal speed, 1.5 times speed, 1.75 times speed, and then 0.85 times speed. So the first thing they tell you to do is remove this crystal here. I got some hot tweezers. You don't have to use these. On Division 6's website, they just used some pliers and kind of pulled it off. I have really bad luck doing that. I always rip the pads off, so I bought these hot tweezers. These things are pretty cool, so we'll use these to get it off today. Very satisfying when you pop that off. Now we can go ahead and start tinning all the points that we are going to need to use and getting our board ready to solder it. First thing I'm going to do is just tin all these points and then we're going to stick it onto the motherboard right here using this little double-sided tape. Just going to go ahead and tin all the spots we need. So we're going to go for the L trigger, which is TP9, the TP3, the R, that is TP8, Uh, this top point right here, that's DL2A. This point right here. This point right here. And this clock point right here, which is this top one that says CK1. Just have your points all like this. One up here. I did TP3, or you can use TP2. CK1 right here, next to where the crystal was, right up here for the LED, and then TP8 for the R. So let's go ahead and stick our chip right here. There's a good space for it. And I'll put the diagram up on the screen, but basically you just wanna start connecting all the points. So these three points right here, this top one is for the LED, but we're just talking about these three points right here are the points for the buttons. It doesn't matter which order or where you solder them to, as long as you solder them to a button, doesn't matter which one. So we're going to solder this bottom one here to TP3. This middle one here I'm going to do on TP9, which is the L button. I like to route it kind of up and over this CPU. And then the last one is TP8. And then all we have left to do is the LED. And this is how it should look. I like to put a good bit of cap on tape on there, make sure nothing shorts out, and yeah, that's looking really good. So let's move on to prepping our shell. I'm just doing a quick install today. I'm not gonna bother soldering in the brightness control, but we do need to cut away a little bit of the shell right here. So this is where the board kind of sits, right on top of this, and it can create some pressure right here. All you gotta do is snip off a little bit of that edge right there. Take it down a little bit. Overclocking your Game Boy only supports first party games. Reproduction games and flashcards won't work and usually will lead to your Game Boy freezing when you activate the overclock.
All right, there we have it, guys. Let me get into the game really quick so you can see the difference. So normal play right here. And then as you see, you press start, L and R. There it is, guys. Quick and easy install of the GBA Accelerator by Division 6. Now, they do have quite a few other options available as well for other Game Boys. We just did the one for the Game Boy Advance, of course, but they do now offer the Game Boy Pocket, uh, the DMG, and also for the Game Boy Color. So we will be installing those eventually as well. I have not installed these yet. These are actually new. They just came out with these a few months ago, and I haven't had a chance to do them yet, but I've been uh, <laughs> kind of been emailing them for the past couple years and hoping that they would do this. So I'm glad to see that they finally released one for the Game Boy Color and the uh, Game Boy Pocket. I made a video in the past overclocking the Game Boy Color. I made a couple videos actually, but uh, Inside Gadget is who made the chip that I had used in one of my past videos, but they stopped making chips or they only made, I don't know, they're hard to get. I, I always check their site and they're always out of stock, but Division 6 has been really good about keeping stuff in stock, so I'll definitely be using them from now on. I will have links in the description box down below, as always, if you wanna pick up the chip to do it yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, stay tuned because I will be installing these in future GB Accelerator episodes. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, like, all that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.